Welcome, welcome, people. It's Q from Q Dub Productions, and today we are talking about Universal Audio's Luna. Finally had a chance to play with it. Been playing with it for a couple days now. Want to go over some key commands because I believe us producers would really love something that will help us maneuver a little bit faster within this program. Great program, by the way. I uh, think they did a bang-up job for a first version. Still some things and quirks and, you know, little bugs in there that you know, would definitely make our life a lot easier once they get those fixed. But um, definitely a great program. Definitely something you want to look into if you own any Universal Audio uh, gear that you can download this for free. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So uh, talking about key commands, just some of the ones that I feel um, that will always be helpful to me in any program, especially when I first get into it, is being able to toggle the views. So the very first one is just a very simple command and the equal sign or the plus sign whichever you want to call it but all that's going to do is just toggle between the mixer view and i guess you would consider it the edit view so that's the first one the very next one is i always like to go in we'll go ahead and get rid of this on the side um, i always like to go in and get rid of or not get rid of, but I like to see things kind of close up. I like to be able to see them far so I can see whatever markers that I have, uh, you know, how I have things arranged, but also be able to get in and get close to uh, a region that I want to work on. And something that I have to uh, give kind of as a disclaimer when it comes to this program is that, yes, they advertise it, I believe, as a DAW. But if you're a producer, um, it's got a little bit of a learning curve. I don't think it's necessarily made with producers in mind. I believe they can get better if they choose to listen to the feedback that, you know, I'm sure they're going to get a lot of. I've sent a few in already just on some things with uh, split note uh, on the grid and, um, you know, a couple of things like that. You know, reversing audio. You see, I got a clip down here. I'll go over that a little bit and show some of the things that I don't think that you can do uh, in this right now. OK, but. With that being said, let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you uh, some other ones that I particularly like. So a very simple one is just either R or T. R is going to help you zoom out on the horizontal scale and T is going to help you zoom in. So that in itself to me is golden. OK, so if I can zoom out and in horizontally, then, of course, I want to be able to do it vertically. So then all I do is go control option and then press the down arrow. That's going to make them either smaller or if you hit the up arrow, it's going to make them larger. Very, very simple. OK, and then if you for some reason you want to duplicate something, let's say I want to duplicate. Excuse me. Can't talk today. If I want to duplicate this clip, then I just would hit option and D. Option D will totally duplicate that entire clip. And I could just go command Z, which is kind of standard in every DAW. It doesn't matter what you're working on. And even that even works in Microsoft Word. But if you hit command Z, then that'll take you back to where you were. As with anything, I have not seen a limited amount of undos. That doesn't mean that they don't have any, but I just have not experienced them yet. OK, so our next one, if we wanted to separate something, you have a choice. You can either come here and if you click it like that, and you set that there, then you just gonna go command and E. Command E is the separate tool, I guess. There's not a there's not a blade or anything that you can use to separate a clip. You just have to hit that command and E. And we can go ahead and go command Z to go back. Okay, um, some of the other ones, and I'm gonna open up another uh, another project and show you some of those too. But um Another one would be if we had markers or uh, before I go into markers, um, I want to talk about this grid value. OK, so the grid values up here and I'm also going to give you um, a little tip when it comes to this, too. All right. So as it stands right now, if I move over here. And I go to do something, if this is energized. This little thing right here, this is link edit play selection, if that is um, pressed or it's illuminated, then if I jump over here and I make a new region over here somewhere, um, you know, anything that I just anything that I do, it's going to jump to that section. If I take that off, 
then I can always, if you want to go back to zero, to go back to the beginning, just hit the return key. Hit return, it'll take you back to the beginning. Okay, so that's just uh, something else for you. Um, another one that um, I wanted to uh, go over here, and, and this one isn't a key command. I just want to talk about these views for a second because they was a little bit, little bit funky for me for a while. Okay, so if you, this is your focus area. So if you have an area that you want to focus on and be able to see on this left pane, then this is where you would uh, you would configure that at. So if I don't want to see the tracks that I have, I can get rid of that. I can get rid of the focus track. That's what this track is considered to be your focus track. Um, and then if I want to get rid of the info, the info is everything that you have um, right there at the bottom. You can see that toggling and going away. And then your monitor, of course, is what you would have on the right. Me personally, I like to have that monitor on the side so I can see where my, you know, where my levels are and stuff like that. And, you know, help me help me out with my gain staging. So I like to, to keep that there. Um, but, you know, just however, you know, I just leave all these checked in for right now just so everybody can see what the full pane looks like. OK, another um, uh, section to this little transport section up here is you have these uh, workflow areas. So I can look at on a whole kind of what, you know, my entire scene looks like or or and then I can actually I can mix it down from there, too. I can just hit one button and mix it down. So there is a key, a key command for that, but you can just hit that button and that'll work. Um, and then you can go into here. This is how you edit. Whether you're working on any type of region, whether it's a MIDI region or it's an audio region, you can go click this and then it'll just kind of give you some quick things up here that you can use uh, instead of doing a key command if I were to put my marker there and I just hit separate then it'll do that that was that second way I was talking about um, that is you know I'd rather do it by key command that just makes it a little bit easier for me um, but I'm sure they'll come up with some better value some better tools I guess you could say on your cursor that you could do that I, ha I don't see a way to do that as of right now it doesn't mean they don't have it I just don't know what it is OK, and then you can go to your MIDI workflow view, which this is where you can use this keyboard. It, it makes it so that you can use your regular typing keyboard, just like every other DAW does. So you can go in and you can try to input your MIDI notes that way. And then last but not least, you have your record section. Now, with the record section, what this allows you to do is let's say I have a um, let me make this a little bit bigger. So let's say I have some note values here, right? Just something simple. Um, okay, so if I have those note values there, and let's say I want to have this as the bar that I'm going to work on. So here you have this pre-roll and post-roll. So most of us like to have it count in. If you don't have it count in, as soon as you hit record, it's gonna start going right there on that particular region. Most of us don't work that way. You know, I would like to think I'm that fast, but I like to pre-roll. So if you go Command and K, then that will toggle your pre-roll on and off. But you have to set it up first. So if we go here and let's just take all of this to zero, hit the number one, and that'll give us a one bar count in. So now, oh, my God. And I have to say this click is God awful. <laughs> so not my not something I came up with but it is awful all right so now if I hit this and I go then it comes in and it gives you your, your pre-roll and again I'm sorry command and K is what will turn that on and off once you get it set up and I think that is about it there's a few other ones that are you know kind of commonplace really if you go uh, shift command and N, that helps you over here on the left. It'll open up this pane where you can actually insert new tracks. This way, going control, uh, I'm sorry, shift command and N, that will give you this area where you have a choice of choosing which one you want. But if you, uh, let's back out of that, we'll go cancel. If you go shift command and I, then that will insert an actual instrument and it's going to insert shape 
first. And then you'd have to go in and change it. Now, they may come along and decide they want to make, you know, allow you to be able to change that to another default in instrument. But for right now, shape is going to come up if you do it that way. So we'll go command Z and get rid of that. Now, if I go shift command and B, then that gives me the option to create a bus. And I always turn this off. Um, and then you can create a bus that way. And then you set it up, set up your sends and returns and things like that. I'll do another video that shows how to set all, of, all those things up. I actually uh, came up with a template. And with that template, you know how I believe templates are, you know, man's best friend, especially when you're trying to create something and you want to just get that idea out. So I've created a template. I'll do a video showing, uh, you know, kind of how I did that. Or I have it now. I'll, I'll walk you through how I did it. I have markers and all that other good stuff. I'll show you how to jump from marker to marker and, uh, and you know, get to the scenes that you want to get to. So um, anyway, that's my time. Hopefully this video was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notifications button so you stay up to date on all my latest content. And most of all, stay queued up. Peace.